Road rage is a very serious issue. Amongst all countries all over the world, there is always going to be road rage. Some countries deal with this road rage a lot differently than others, and there are different types of people for different types of countries. Don't know why I said different types of countries as if they're all. But here in England, there are a very peculiar set of people that you can narrowly identify as, um, certain people. What the f did I just say? What I mean is there are different types of people on the roads and not necessarily just on the roads, but people using the roads as well. Yesterday, I uh, basically came across this two, these two drivers, these two types of drivers in the space of 20 minutes. And I thought to myself, you know what? A lot of people can probably relate to me right now with this if you are driving in the UK and probably in the US as well. But I'm going to go through what I believe to be the different types of drivers slash non-drivers in the country. So number one is the person that is always in a rush. No matter what time of day it is, what type of weather it is, uh, what day it is, there's always that one person that seems to be in a rush. I experienced this yesterday. I was stuck in traffic, right? I, d I think there was a red light at the start, or there was some kind of mini roundabout, right? And um, this guy behind me beeping his horn. Like, I... What are you expecting, mate? What 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 do you expect me to do here? Do you want me to just swerve out the way and Bruce Almighty them all out of the way for you? What are you in a rush for anyway? To get home and watch EastEnders? I don't understand these people that always feel like they need to get somewhere very quickly because half the time they're just rushing to get stuck in more traffic. Like I was in London one time, this BMW, BMW driver was behind me and he was there telling me to move over, even though this was the lane I needed to be in. So no, I'm not moving over. This is the lane I need to be in. So he came round me, stuck his finger up, went back round and was stuck in traffic. Thinking if you were stuck behind me, you're just gonna be in traffic anyway. So what's the point in being an absolute <laughs> swerving around me, getting back into lane, and then just getting stuck in traffic. What's wrong with you? There's these people that beep at you as well. Yesterday there was someone beeping at me. I don't understand what they want from me. What do you want? It just angers me because it's like, there's literally nothing I can do as a person to help you get there wherever you want to go quicker. Listen, even even if like I was in a life threatening like an, in a life threatening position where I had to drive myself to the hospital, I would still be awkwardly English and take my time and not rush because I'm not an asshole. I'd rather die than be an asshole, to be fair. I don't know what, what's wrong with these people if they've got anger issues, you know, if, if they want to get home to their wives because they haven't had sex in 10 years. I, I, I honestly don't know. But that's the first type of person that I really can't stand on the roads. The second person is the chav. Now this is, um, I'm not sure if this is an American term as well, but a chav is just, uh, basically the, the definition of a chav is council estate, violent, council estate and violent. I mean, you can be from that background and still not be like this guy. I think chav is just a broader definition of an asshole. Let's just say that. You'll always see them, you know. Uh, okay, I'll say McDonald's because that's a universal thing. They're, they're in the McDonald's parking lot, say, or just opposite McDonald's. There's usually about four of them all in their <laughs> Fiat Punta just lined up, eyeing up 14 year old girls coming back from school. They're there playing really crappy drum and bass music. Most of the time stuff you've never actually heard of. You just listen to it and it's just noise. And they're there, it's like some kind of mating ritual for these guys, for the 15 year old girls just finishing school to go over. I don't know what these girls see in these guys. Obviously that it's girls, not women. Because women look at these guys and think, you are pathetic. But it's just the chav that, you know, you're stuck in traffic. What gets worse than a guy beeping at you? A guy playing crappy drum and bass music. All the windows open, minus five degrees outside, just so everyone can look at this guy. It's like, oh yeah, look at me. Look at me, I'm playing really, sh really crap music. And uh, I'm, I'm the best, you know, I'm really good. I'm really good, I am. The reason people look at you is because you're a Mongol. That, that is the, re the only reason people are looking at you my friend, grow up, get a better car and get a life. Now, like I said, there are people off the roads who use the roads who pee me off just as much as people on the roads using the roads. The first type is the person crossing the road. Okay, so in the UK, we've got something called zebra crossings, right? A zebra crossing is basically white stripes across a road. And if someone's waiting at the zebra crossing, you have to stop no matter what. It's not like a traffic light where it runs green and, you know, run goes red, you have to stop. If there's someone stood there, you have to stop. And that's fair enough. I, I don't mind stopping for these people. There's the people who, I guess in America, what you call jaywalking isn't a thing in the UK. You don't get fined for jaywalking. They just basically walk out in front of you as, as if as if you're just not even there. You come to an immediate stop and they're, just, they're looking at you like, 
all crap. But here's the thing, right? Most of the people that do that have babies and they use the pram or the whatever you want to call it to actually get in front. They use their baby's life. They sacrifice their life just to get across the road. That is the stupidest and just... You shouldn't have children. You need child services to come in there and you need Jesus to take the wheel. The other type of person who uses the road, now don't get me wrong, you know, I respect the cyclist, but there are these certain cyclists who take up all the road in the middle. So you can't get round them because if you go around, you're gonna go into an oncoming vehicle and die. You can't beep at them because you're seen as the bum hole. So you have to wait behind them, watching, w watching them go 10 miles per hour uphill, sweating it out. You just gotta, you just gotta put up with them. And it's just the, the, the cheekiness of it, the freaking, what's the word I'm looking for? Listen, if you're a cyclist, right, especially when there's a path, right, and there's a cycling path just there on the actual path, and they choose to still use the road, you have a lovely place in hell. I don't know how many accidents you guys probably cause in the roads, but I'm guessing it's quite a lot. There is also another type of person that might be my final person of this video. They're people, right? They're, they're, they're all, they're good hearted. You know, their, their intent was good hearted, but they're stupid as hell. And these are the people that, so there's this, there was this road where like, there's two lanes on the left that uh, these cars could go down that way and then one row like here. So I have to look out for two cars coming forward from the left. So I was waiting at this junction basically and this person on my right decided to stop. Even though there was traffic coming from the left still, it just stopped there, flashed its lights at me and told me to go. I was like, sorry mate, are you, is this faces of death? Do you want me to die? What, what is this? And then they get all arsy with you because you decided not to go because you want to keep your life. I understand that your nature was, you know, kind-hearted but that kind-heartedness is going to get somebody killed and i mean very badly wrecked and the moment the, t the time where you let someone go and they get plowed by an oncoming truck you're gonna feel like a complete bar steward this is me trying to censor myself. You, as I say, you know, road. Uh, I, I don't, here's the thing about road rage as well: is that most of it is completely irrelevant. Like, there's no reason to get mad at all. I'm not sure what makes us rage so much. I think it's because we're so concentrated on doing something, and then when one thing slips up, it just kind of sets us off into this ape mode where we just want to like tear people apart, we turn into Harambe all of a sudden. Most of it's unjustified. Like, you know, someone taking their time uh, at a mini roundabout because they don't want to die. There's people behind like, come on, me, Vaughn, I want to watch EastEnders. Or whatever the, the equivalent is in America. Yeah, so my advice to new drivers is take your time, right? Don't let someone else's anger or someone else's attitude affect you as a driver. Don't let it pressure you because they're just going to get you into an accident. Uh, the, in the UK alone, there are a lot of bastards and most of the time it's BMW drivers. No, that's not that's not a um, you know a stereotype at all. It's the truth, right? Most BMW drivers are insane drivers on the road and don't care about anyone. Only some of them though. Well, most of them. I'd say 90% of BMW drivers are bastards. Oh, there we go, guys. That was my video on driving and why I'm probably going to die of cardiac arrest at the wheel due to stress. If you guys did enjoy this vlog and would like to see more ranting videos about other subjects, trust me, I have a lot. And let me know down below. If you're new to my channel, why not subscribe for more reaction videos and vlogs. Thank you guys for watching. And see you later.